We're in the Whitnell School Forest. Kind of an amazing place for the community. We planted a bunch of trees here, some 250 trees. Approximately 1.8 acres of this school forest were missing trees due to emerald ash borer. We talked to teachers about the forest being used as not only a, a place to do science or environmental sciences, but a place where they can come with their literature classes or their writing classes. The phi ed classes are out here all of the time. Mathematics, you can do anything in the forest. So as we come through the forest during different seasons, we come to Cattail Creek here and we notice, is there water flowing right now? If there is, we think about like, well, when was the last time that it rained? Or has it rained recently? Or, oh, look, the snow is melting now in spring. When there are trees present, trees hold back anywhere from 40 to 60% of the rainwater that comes down, where grasses, 90% of that water floods off. The children come here numerous times throughout the year to study a tree as it goes through its changes every season. We have so much wildlife out here, tons of birds, lots and lots of pollinators. We have a lot of pollinator plants that we have uh, strategically planted over the last several years. Also deer, we have lots of deer that, uh, that run through our forest. One of my goals as a teacher is to make sure that children understand the importance of their world the environment and their impact on it, no matter if they're five years old or they're 25 years old. And it is all about protection of both the, our water, Lake Michigan, and then our community itself.